you got to understand where I come from in Louisiana. We didn't hear, I didn't, I didn't hear that type of uh, positivity from a, a, a man, not only a man, a man of a different color. It made a difference in my life. He said, get on that bus and turn that bus into a classroom. I saw the kids getting on the bus. They was getting on the bus with the same kids that they was, uh, that they had already knew, uh, what they was comfortable with. That's a problem for me because growing up, I wanted to know the kids in front of me. I wanted to know the kids on the bus. We start introducing the child. This bus is a community. All, everybody in the community have to make a mark in the community. Some kids get on the bus weren't feeling so well sometimes. So I would ask the nurse to come and sit on the seat behind them. Uh, uh, if they was coughing, they had a cold, I would get a little mask and a little gloves and ask them to go back there and let the child, let, let them know, explain to them if they're cold or they're sick, we're gonna make sure the germs are contained and there's nothing wrong with you, but we're gonna make sure all the other people on the bus are well. Jay Curtis, I gotta get a picture. You, you do the stuff with kids all the time. She put it on Facebook. He got shared over 150,000 times in a week, weekend. And I got all these people calling me from out of town everywhere saying, you on this platform, I'm like what? It's, it's been shared over 500,000 times. All the celebrities are talking about you. I'm like, what? One of the young ladies said, you're the bus driver. You're the bus driver. I was one of those kids on the bus that got one of those gifts. So I was like, wow, she's getting ready to graduate, on a road student, and she is a leader in the school. Uh, the things I was teaching them taught her to be a leader. Planting seeds in the kids' hearts and mind. Now I'm planting seeds in our adults' mind and heart as well. We call it global climate change, and it is. But it affects each of us, no matter where we live, in your city, your town, or your farm. Climate change is having its effect. The more people we are on the planet, the less resources there are for each of us. In my lifetime, we've eradicated two-thirds of wildlife on planet Earth. Almost like a mind-boggling scale of loss of life. The Colorado River is drying up. We use and discard so much plastic into the world that it finds its way into our food chain. Joshua Tree National Park. In the next century, all of this could disappear. Sounds grim? Well, it kind of is. I want to build a compost site and help that community stand on their feet. That's what compost power is about. It's about just giving the power to the people. I think, really, we are in the situation that Noah was in. And the question now is, what can we say? How else can I give back? How else can I make my energy matter? We as tribal people, we're very dedicated to our homeland. If we can live in harmony with nature, then we are able to harness nature for these paradigm shifting solutions. We need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. Only what you love would you protect, and only what you learn about can you come to love. <laughs>